Rhyme Bill is now online. Hey guys and girls, and I'm going to show you how to write, read, update, and delete data with Firebase Database. Let's go! All right, so the first thing you want to do is to go to your Firebase console. Here in your console, you're going to go ahead and create a new project. I'm going to call mine Write, Read, Update, Delete, and we're going to go ahead and finish off the process. Awesome. Let's add our web app to our project. Now we got to initialize our real-time database. So over the real-time database tab, you want to hit create database. Now we're going to switch up in a test mode just cause why not? We'll practice with it. Great. Now your database should be up and running. All right. So I already went ahead and created an index.html and an index.js. And the most important thing, I got a form container, which just has all my input boxes. Your implementation might be different from this, but as long as you got something that you're happy with, that's fine. Now, lastly, I got a script tag, which I'm going to use to connect to index.js. Awesome. So let's go back to our Firebase and here we need to go to our project settings. This is going to give us some code, which is going to connect our HTML website to our Firebase project. Great. So now we can just copy this above our index.js script file. And notice I'm keeping all of this below the body. So that way the web page loads and then it loads our script. This is very important. And don't forget to duplicate your Firebase app and change it up to database so we can use our Firebase app and our Firebase database. All right, so lastly, we're gonna copy our Firebase config and paste it in our index.js. Great, so once you got that done, we're gonna create a new variable database. And this database is gonna be equal to firebase.database. So that way we don't have to write this out every time. All right, so here in our save or write function, we're going to declare variables for all our input boxes. It's going to allow us to get all the values first before we actually save them to Firebase database. To save this data to Firebase database, we simply have to say database.ref and here we're going to say our users which is going to be a category in our database and in our database we're going to save our users slash our username and then here we're just simply going to set our data here which is our email our password username favorite food etc Lastly, we want to alert the user that the data has been saved. And depending on how you set up your buttons, I'm just going to use the same button for all the functions. But for now, I'm going to use it and set it to save. So whenever we click our button, it's going to save our data to our database. Awesome. So when we go back to our website, refresh and put in some pseudo data, when you hit submit, we should now see our data should be saved to our Firebase database. Great. So now when we go back to Firebase, we can see our users category and in there we see our test, which is our username. And inside our test, we see all the data associated with that user. Awesome. Great. So now I'm going to go ahead and create another user just cause it's fun. All right, so in our get or read function, we're going to create a variable, call it user ref. User ref is going to be equal to our database.ref users slash, and we'll just leave that blank for now. Sweet. Below this, we're going to say user ref dot on value. And we're going to pass in a function which takes in a snapshot 
And this is going to allow us so anytime a value is added on, it's going to print out the data. So here we're going to use the user lucky just because feeling lucky today. And we're going to print out the data. So inside this function, we're going to say var data is equal to snapshot dot val. And this is going to grab the value of our lucky data, which is our user. We see an object is printed out, which is our user data. Sweet. Now we can simply print out a specific data we want. For example, data.email. Awesome. So instead of hard coding our username into the script, let's create a variable which is going to grab the username from our input box. So that way we don't have to type it in code, but simply enter it into our input box. Great, so when we go back to our website and refresh, type in the username test, we now see our email for test is being displayed, which is awesome. So now we can get users in Firebase database. Great, so in our update function, all we need to do is to create a variable updates, which is gonna be equal to an object. And in this object, we can pass in any parameter we wanna update. For example, let's update our email. To do this, we simply type in email, and put in and set the value of that equal to our updated email. And we could also update other parameters by adding in into our updates object. Nice, so instead of hard coding our updated values in our object, I'm just gonna create a variable like I did before, which just gets the updated email from our input box rather than in code. But depending on how you're gonna use this, it might look different for you. For example, you can use this to reset passwords or reset email addresses and you might have a special token you send out to the user or something like that. Great, so now we have the things we want to update. We simply need to type in database.ref and we're going to say users slash plus the username or the user we want to update. So I'm just going to create another variable so we don't have to hard code it. And this is going to allow us to update individual users. And we're going to say dot update, pass in our update. Now we just slap on alert updated. Now when we go back to our website, refresh. And now when we add in our username, new email, and our new password, you should now see when we hit submit, it should actually update our user, which is awesome. Last but not least, our remove or delete function. I'm going to start off this by creating a variable username which is going to be our input once again. And down below, we're going to say database.ref users slash plus our username. So this is going to reference the username in our database that we want to remove. We're going to end off with dot remove. Simple as that. And it's going to remove this user from our database. Now, when we check our Firebase database, we can see our test user or our user with the test username has been removed, which is awesome. And that's it guys. That's how to write, read, update, and delete using Firebase database. It's pretty easy. Hopefully you guys like this and use it in your own various projects. But until next time, rhyme below.